Welcome back to our uh, video series on mentoring and discipleship. Uh, real, real basic, practical video this time. How to get started. Let's start from you came to church and you got saved or you came to church and God's been dealing to you about pouring your life into somebody. What's the first thing we do? Let's start there. One good thing is, uh, in a lot of cases, uh, being discipleship pastor, I get to meet these people first. If they've rededicated or, or uh, they get, saved. get saved, my wife and I get to meet them first. We get information from them, and so we have the first contact, which is an excellent thing. But if it doesn't happen that way, and you are just new and new at church, new mm -hmm. across life. Right. You need to see Pastor Matt, Pastor Chester, or myself, or anyone, right. any, any of the staff, can direct you to where you need to be. And just to clarify, if you get a hold of me or Matt or Pastor Mark, we're going to get you a hold of Pastor right. Steve. Okay. Yeah. He is the guy. But uh, <laughs> th then we get started. Uh, we get some basic information from from you. We try to figure out. Uh, like I said in one of the previous videos, if you have uh, someone that you've looked at mm -hmm. or looked up to, uh, we want to make an organic match if at all sure. possible. But if you don't know anyone or you're just new, new in town, here, yeah, right. uh, we're going to try to find someone that's your age, that, uh, of course, your sex. That's one thing that we haven't yeah. mentioned yet. Yeah. It's always... Uh, males of males and females of females. Exactly. Yeah. It's always sex specific. Uh, but... We want to make sure that, that we match Or you. couples and couples. You do that, uh, right? Couples and couples, right. yes, yes. Married couples. And, yes, yeah. and we've even had, uh, that's a great point, Pastor. We've even had families and families. Yeah. We've got two families that right. are actually mentoring other families. Sure. But we want to find out what you have in common uh, with some, or what your needs are, what your likes are, what, you know, anything about you that, that we could link with someone else and uh, make a good match. And... A lot of times, uh, where you are spiritually has a yeah. lot to do with, with who we want to match you with because you don't want to be matched with someone that is more or less on the same level than you. Sure. You want to be matched Absolutely. with someone that, that, that you can grow with. Absolutely. And so that's pretty much the same thing with uh, if, if I'm looking for someone to mentor, I'm still going to come to you and say, because you've got a list populated exactly. of people that are waiting to be mentored. Right. And so, you know, oftentimes you have more people way to be mentored than mentors to mentor much, them. Much, much more. And much so more. Uh, if you're interested in mentoring somebody, the first step is to go to see Pastor please, Steve. Please, please. All right, so now, so now we've got, you know, two candidates, um, and you feel like there's a good match. You've talked to them both. Now what? I get them in contact with each other. Well, I give numbers to each one, but we always say that it's the mentor's job. To, sure, to, to, to contact, initiate. Right, right, the one that's going to be mentored. Uh, the person that will be mentored. Uh, usually, uh, the first meeting is a uh, very informal, like over coffee, or a lot of times it happens before and after church. Yeah, after it's church, a, or go a, eat dinner after church. Right, or, right. It's, a, it's a great time, you know, you just get introduced. Uh, not long ago, my wife Nancy, that helps me so much, uh, she had two ladies that, that were matched, and she actually went out to dinner with them, you know, to facilitate the time. Right. because. They were a little bit shy about it, and, and when she went, you know, it made it great because they felt at home. But just, you, you need to get to know, and like we said in previous videos, it's all about relationship. You need to get to know that person as a person before you even start, you know, the Bible or anything like that. Uh, that's the most important thing, but it's all built on relationship, trust. You need to build and as you meet, you'll build trust with someone and you'll get to know them a little bit better. Then you need to start setting the boundaries uh, yeah. of the relationship. What, uh, how much we're going to meet, when we're going to meet, what we want to do when we meet, uh, which is really something that the mentor needs to establish. Establish, yeah. but it needs to be agreed on. Yeah. Uh, and uh, then after you set up a schedule, you actually start meeting. Like I yeah. said, an hour a week or an hour and a half a week. Yeah, and then you I mean then I mean as that process kind of yeah we we're doing well there we're not doing well there I mean it kind of it morphs into what yes. it's going to be Always. and so it's not like from the grant from the ground go that it's going to be a perfect thing I mean no. it, it's a work in progress and uh, you know several things I'd like to speak to about there number one the boundaries you talked about boundaries 
um, kind of set the parameters. And the reason, part of the reason for that too is, is some people, you know, if I'm, me and my wife or are married and we have a family and let's say we're mentoring someone who's, sing, you know, single. Right. And they have a ton of free time. Well, right. exactly. they're not invited to come live at my house. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I want to give them ample time, but there's got to be some, re- some boundary, you exactly. know, I don't want someone, I, I, and I'm just being real, I don't want someone who's going to blow my phone up 24 yeah. hours a day. Yeah. I don't want someone who's going to, you know, my Facebook page is nothing but, you know. Right, right, and so right, there's right. certain boundaries. At first, you may have to say, hey, listen, you know. Uh, and that's when it happens at first. You know, you, you right. know, uh, I appreciate your eagerness. Uh, you know, try not to text me more than two times a day. <laughs> Unless we're in yeah. a conversation or, yeah. you know, only yeah. call, you know, once a day. Or and, th- and that's an excellent point because those boundaries, uh, a lot of times, like I said, you, you're a family, and you just have to say, yeah. you know, we, we can't, line. yeah, this yeah. is the line. We can't do it more than that because, as we talked about before, it gets unhealthy really yeah. quick. And the flip side of that is I've, I've mentored somebody and hadn't heard from them in a week since a meeting between meeting to meeting, and I would say to them, I'd really like for you to more. text me at least every other day just so I can kind of help <laughs> you know where you're at, you know. Um, the other thing you talked about was um, – the uh what well, kind of slipped my mind but you were talking oh okay you're talking about the mentor initiating with the mentoree right i've it's been my experience that some of the best or most of the best times that relationships have worked in this context is when the mentoree came to me and said i want you to point yes, my life yes 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 there's nothing wrong with that now you still need to go to pastor steve and say pastor steve uh our, god's been laying on my heart that you know this person it, that they need to pour into my life. And he can help facilitate that right. happening. But it's been my experience that that works oftentimes better yes, than agree. the mentor going, I see this person and, 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 you know, because there's something about that person who wants it that'll last, it'll stick. Yeah, and, and that's a proven principle. If you look at the statistics, those relationships last more, uh, they're more successful. And, and one thing that I did want to say is uh, if, if you do find someone that, that you want to mentor, d- don't be shy. Yeah. People people are flattered most times. Yeah. If you will come to them and say, "Hey, you know, you you uh, you speak in the prophetic. Uh, you, yeah. I, I want to learn how to do these words of knowledge." You're a you worship have. person. I'm interested in music. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, yeah. And people, I, I've seen it time and time again. People are just really flattered that someone would want to imitate their life. Yeah. Right? If you're having, like, if you just don't know what to do, and you're and you're sitting in there and you're thinking, I really want that person to pour in my life, and you just don't know what to do, Pastor Steve, that's right. his job. That's right. his job I, is to facilitate that right. and get right. that thing going. Doesn't right. mean that it'll 100% work out, uh, but he can, but he can do the part of at least getting it out there and seeing if, if it's right. going to work. One more point I want to make, Pastor, is uh, we want these things to happen organically, and as you mentioned. Just let just let me know because I keep records and, and sure. we we have a computer program set up so we know who is with who. Yeah. Just just for for because uh, you're liable to call in six months from now and say, hey, it's going good. Can right. Anything I can help you with? Right. Uh, exactly. You know, and just and just exactly. And just facilitate. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so just real quick, you know, you you sign you 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 give your name to Pastor Steve and information. I want to be mentored or I'm looking someone to mentor. He will contact both parties. He'll feel the, th- feel the situation out. Uh, they'll talk. They'll pray about it. Right. Um, then if, if it continues to grow, you know, then they'll set up an initial meeting. Uh, that initial meeting will get set up, and then you're going to work out the boundaries, and, and, and then you're going to just start doing the mentoring process. It's yes. really not uh, super complicated, but oftentimes the hardest thing is just getting started. So exactly. the number one thing you can do is just go to Pastor Steve and say, Pastor Steve, this is what I'm interested in. Let's go. And it happens most times organically and very quickly yep. and, and very easily. All right. We're going to talk about some do's and don'ts. We're going to talk about, um, you know, uh, I tried it. It didn't work. Or, you know, all these types of different topics. We'll have a few more videos for you. So just uh, keep checking us out. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.